Hi guys and welcome to my channel DIYD365. In this video I'm going to show you how to send an email with details from opportunity close record. So you must be aware when we close an opportunity or as won or lost we capture certain information in that form. As of now if you'll try to do it with out of the box workflows you cannot create a workflow for this entity which is called opportunity close now you might be looking at this form differently this is a feature or a preview for wave 2 that's why i'm seeing it like this you might be able to see it as a dialog box um, but still uh, what i'm going to tell you as a solution will work on your instance as well so what i'm going to do is take the last four fields here, actual revenue, close date, competitor, and description from the opportunity clause and send out an email. And I'll do that only for lost opportunities. So, uh, and, and since it is a quick video, this video is part of my quick tip series. So I'll not get into too much details, but still I'll show you how I've done it. So let's jump into Microsoft flows. So that's the way we are going to achieve it. Uh, you must be aware that opportunity close is created as an activity and similarly quote close order close uh, as well they're created as activities in the system but the workflow does not allow you to select any such entities uh, because uh, they are not available in the entity, entity list of workflows so we'll achieve this particular scenario um, via Microsoft flows so one is that whether you want to run it on create of opportunity close or update uh, so there are templates available out of the box where it says send an email when a dynamics 365 record is updated uh, you can use this um, but i'm going to use send an email when our record is created which is not available just like this uh, like a template but still you can do it I'll show it to you how so if we select the record is updated you can see it here so that's how it pops up you can select your organization name entity name and then you'll fill all these details so this comes uh, blank out of the box so this is like uh, like this and you'll have to specify email so this is kind of uh, static you wouldn't want that and then you'll assume that email address is present I'll just use that but if you remember opportunity does not have an email field so when you will try and test it this uh, flow will fail because there is no such field called email so what I'm going to do is what you will be requiring to do is go to create and create your own flow it will ask you for a name then you can type this when a record is created you will get to see this select this and click create and once you do that I'll just quickly go to my flow so when a record is created I have selected my organization name entity name and then what I'm doing is clicking on this plus button which is basically to insert a new step then I do get users because I would need the email ID of the person who owns that opportunity. So I'm saying get uh, users. So when you go to insert a new step, you will not see get users. You will see get a record. So add that step here into the organization name again, entity name users. And what's the identifier? It's the owner. Okay, so we want to send an email to the owner of the opportunity or opportunity close. Then from the user entity and from the owner field, what do we want is we want their primary email address. So I've again added uh, a step. I'll show you how to add compose. So I click here, add an action, and then I go to built in, and then I go to data operations. So when you click that, and then you click compose that's how you get that in the inputs when you click on inputs you'll be able to see get users primary email so scroll down to p primary email so that's the one i've used i'll just delete this 
So similarly, once I've done that, so what I've got here, I'll expand all of them. Um, so I've, I need to get their email address. Then what I've got is get competitors. Again, you'll insert a step and look for get records. Uh, when you'll do that, I've just renamed it. You can do it by clicking here and rename. So organization name, entity name, competitors. And what I need is their name. So I've selected competitor name. So when you click here, you'll be able to see it. Um, this is get users. Then there will be get competitors. So just a moment here. So this is how I've got it. Um, so get competitors. Uh, and then what I need from competitors is their name. So again, I've inserted um, Compose. So again, I'll try to do that Add action, go to built in, get into data operations and select Compose. Okay. So this is not technical. You just have to dynamically select the field you want to display in your email. So I've done competitors, I've done users. In users, we require their email ID in competitors I need their name and then again I've done get record now why I've done this because I only want to send email to lost opportunities so I need only their status because we are running it on create of opportunity close activities so we have to gather information from related entities and that's what we are doing with get records so get records, I've not changed this name, but this is how you change it. If you want to rename it, I'll just do get opportunity. Okay. Again, I've inserted a step, a data operation within which I've selected compose. I need their status, status label. And now I've put in a condition where it says status, status label is equal to lost. And if it is yes, as in if this condition is met, I'm sending out an email. Now my email is very dynamic. You can see it's sent to the primary email ID of the owner, opportunity, I'm putting in the subject, loss, dear all, and actual revenue and everything is dynamic. So, and it's sent from my email ID. So you will need a connection from your Office 365. You can also do Gmail, etc. But for that, you'll have to pick up a different template. Uh, or trigger or action. So if I click here, you'll be able to see get opportunity. So I am getting this actual revenue, not from opportunity, but from the opportunity close form. So that should be under the heading. Let me just type actual revenue and that would be easier. So when a record is created, that was our first step here, opportunity close activities. And from that, we are selecting actual revenue and similarly closed on, which is actual end. So that's that. And similarly, competitors. Now, if you wouldn't do these steps, the data operations, I'm when you'll receive an email, instead of showing the name of the competitor, you will see the GUID for it. And similarly for regarding as well. You can also add attachments here and that's all I've done. And if the condition is not met, I'm taking no action or performing no actions here. So then I'll hit save and we will start the test. So remember I've got the status label equals to loss. So it will only run for opportunities, which we close as lost. Now I'll click test. I'll perform the trigger action test. And I'll go here, close it. I've already filled in everything, save and close. So I've just closed it. Let's go back to the flow. It's running because we have performed the action in CRM. It says it ran successfully. Click here. It says true because it has met my condition and it has sent out an email. Now the email is sent to this email ID, which is not Office 365 ready. So it would be sent from my actual email ID. So I'll show it to you here. So that's there, all details. That's the email which has been sent. It's sent from my email ID to this ID, which is not really active, but, but this is how it works. 
So the other bit of this video is how to update an opportunity from the opportunity close form. Um, it's very simple. This will not take much time. So what I've done is filled out the opportunity close form. And what I'm going to do is update the close date and description from this form to here and here. So let's look at the flow I've created for this. So it's simple as when a record is created, select your organization, select opportunity close, and then update a record. Now in here as well, select your organization, select opportunities, what's the identifier. So that's opportunity and you're getting it from here. So if I click here, you'll get to see when a record is created and that's where I've got the opportunity from here right now I'm updating actual close date and description but these two I'm getting from here as well so actual so this is when a record is created and closed on which is this and description which is this so that's all and then we can save and test it test I'll perform test go to my opportunity save and close and should be happening any minute so you can see actually close date he yeah. and you can see the description as well uh, if I go here, it says ran successfully. So that's all. That's all for today. And that's how you can use Microsoft Flows um, to update an opportunity from Opportunity Close or to send out an email from Opportunity Close. I hope you like this video. You can also use the same technique to do it for auto close or quote close forms. And it will be exactly the same. So thank you for watching the video again. Please subscribe to my channel. Happy CRMing.